I was I was kind of embarrassed because it wasn't sounding so great, and uh, I was I was struggling to make it sound cool. And after a while, and then once I got back to Oxnard and was listening to it, because Dan didn't want to like at the end of um, Miami, Dan didn't even want to hear. I, I said, "Here's a cassette," you know, like he didn't even want it. And so Bob took a cassette. It's weird because Time Out of Mind almost didn't come out because after Miami, it shut down because it was such a, a mess. And For so how long? months, it was, it was a couple of months that was, it just went quiet. Everything went quiet, nothing. And I, I would be at the teatro and I'd get a phone call. It'd be Bob and Bob would go, hey, uh, Mark, uh, you know, I've been listening. And he goes, what do you think? And I said, I think we got a great record. You should come back in we'll finish it. And he goes, oh, really? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, well, we'll, we'll see. And so that was that. And, and another time, you know, I'm at home, it's like three in the morning and the phone rings and it's Bob and says, hey, Mark, uh, I, I wanted to talk to you. Um, I've been playing my rec the record, the cassette that you gave me uh, at my friend's house in Santa Monica. And, and uh, we were listening and this, his neighbor from downstairs came up and knocked on the door and said, uh, what do you guys listen to? I got to have that. And so my friend told him that, you know, it's a, it's his friend's record and it's not even available. It's not even done or whatever. And so this guy, by saying that, gave him the, the courage to come back in. So so he eventually did come back in and, and we, you know, did sift through a bunch of stuff and, uh, and made it, you know, we finished it at the teatro.